Hi, it's your coach Joe Lucas. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to the 23rd of October. Hope you had a great weekend and uh, last week of the last normal month of the year. Next month, Thanksgiving United States, then we're into holiday mode. So please make sure you pull out your monthly game plans. Let's have a great, powerful, impactful, uh, proactive, if you will, week this week. So, you know, I just got back from Los Angeles. Uh, on Friday, we hosted our uh, West Coast Magellan Strategic Day. And, you know, a lot of good things always come out of those days. You get to meet some new people. And I've always found it fascinating where I can put um, a small group of, let's say, eight eight or so people in a room. Most don't know each other and, and work, right? And so today what I want to do is really have some different kind of thoughts, if you will, um, on just kind of what to do to kind of elevate yourself to that next level. You know, one of the things that came out um, in that meeting was scheduling. You know, so more importantly, how do advisors schedule? You know, how do we, how do you go about determining, you know, what we're going to do in a given day, given week, a given hour, even, even in that matter. And, you know, we do have some philosophies here and I want to share them with you. So, so first and foremost, you know, after doing this for about 25 years, I realized that advisors have really three types of time, okay? You have your tactical time, you have your strategic time, and then you, you have to have or you need uh, your renewal time. So three chunks. Now, what a lot of advisors try to do, which I think doesn't work really well for about 98% of us, is that they try to have this mishmash every day, right? Well, I'll do some tactical stuff, I'll do some strategic stuff, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get out early a little bit, right? So they think that, well, that works. Um, What's the definition of tactical time? Tactical time is what you all are good at right now, which is doing the business, right? Seeing clients, talking to clients, prospecting administrative functions, uh, portfolio functions, planning functions, the list, right? All tactical stuff. Strategic time is basically made to work on yourself and on your business. So strategic time boils down to, in this case, CE credits, uh, reviewing your quarterly game plan, monthly game plan, business plan, more about that down the road. Um, really kind of working on things, systems, right? Segmentations, uh, changing your portfolios, uh, P&Ls, all those things. So really things that make you better at what you do, right? Training, coaching, attending events, all those would be considered strategic. Now the third type of time is the one that we all love but, but are guilty to talk about, right? which is renewal time or our time. Now, renewal time basically means that you get out and you go on vacay and you unplug and you renew yourself, you recharge the battery, so to speak, and so on. What's interesting is most, most advisors do a very poor job at the R thing. Um, out of guilt, out of poor planning, uh, a lot of different factors. But I'll tell you what, here's the thing I've noticed. It, you know, it's kind of funny, you know, there's, I, I find there's some very immutable laws in our space, right? So one of those, which sounds totally uh, contrarian, is that the more strategic time you have and coupled with the right balance point of renewal time actually will allow you to grow your business faster, which I know sounds totally counterproductive, right? Because you think, well, if I work harder, right? Well, in order to be successful, you got to put the time in. Here's the problem with those two very obsolete beliefs. You're not paid by time in most cases, unless you're like a fee-only financial planner. So you, for most of us, we are compensated by output. How many calls did you make today? How many reviews did you have? How many introduction conversations did you have? And this concept of, the, and by the way, this is, this, is, this is very pervasive in our industry, we're still operating as if it was 1980, which is we gotta be tethered to our desk, the market's open, we gotta be there because the market's open because God forbid a client calls and we're not at our desk and all this kind of crazy stuff. And the reality is that if what matters to your clients is your accessibility. And with technology today, whether you like it or not, right, you are accessible pretty much 24-7. You know, your cell phone, a text message away from a client. So why do most of us then still have this rule set that's literally 30 years old, 30 plus years old, right? Why? Because we are creatures of habit. It's this institutional groupthink that our industry is pervasive with, right? Monkey see, monkey do. That's the way you would. I ask this question all the time. Why is it the way, why is it this way? 
you know, why, my, why nine to five? Why, you know, nine to five, right? Why two weeks vacation a year? Why, you know, why the fee structure? Why 1%, right? Why this? And you know what I know to get back? Not a good answer. So I'm like, well, I don't know, just the way it was, or just the way I was taught, or just the way the, everybody else does it, right? It's like no good reason. So here's, here's what I want to challenge you with today. You know, here we are the last week of October. What I really want you to do is I want you to look at between now and the end of the year, and what I want you to do is make some decisions. Make some decisions on how many taxable days, so in the business, strategic days, what, what, what are my end-of-year projects, CE, whatever else I've got to get done. You know, we're going to start talking about this now. What are you going to do for your planning for 2018? Now, I'm coming out with a brand new, you know, ground up Magellan strategic planning system. We're going to do an event in January. There'll be some pre-work to do. And I'll be sending you an invite on that, right? As long as you're following me, you're hooked up with me, you're on my newsletter list, uh, you follow me on social media, you'll get access to it, right? But all these things you need to figure out. What you don't want to do is end the year in the same way you started the year. And then expect 2018 to be different. It doesn't happen that way, right? So I want you, how many, how many tactical days do I need? How many strategic days do I need? Am I getting a vacay or renewal time, right? And the answer is yes. And I'll tell you where it is. For most of us this week, you know, last week of the month is strategic. So for me, I'm on strategic time. What am I doing this week? I am shooting a ton of video for the brand new Magellan strategic planning process, right? That's what I'll be doing all week. But a lot of my clients are off this week. You know, they'll be working on things. They'll be attending conferences. They'll be doing training, stuff like that. They'll be doing what they need to do to be successful. And then, and then what are you going to do in, in um, November, right? We have Thanksgiving here in the United States. Well, great opportunity. Thanksgiving week is, I don't say throwaway week, but you're not going to find too many takers for a lot of stuff come Tuesday, Wednesday, right? So you can have a nice chunk of time there. Exhale a little bit, right? And then really figure out, and the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is when does your year end? I know, I know the calendar will tell you, you know, the 31st of December. But what happens before that? Are you looking at, like for a lot of my clients, you know, we put a, we put a X in the calendar. December 15th, Friday. Last tactical day of the year, right? Not saying we won't take client calls or do stuff like that, but it's sort of like scheduling meetings and stuff like that. A lot of my clients, including myself, by the way, uh, December 15th, that's it. We're gonna, I'm gonna end the year with a great Magellan strategic day in Orlando, Florida, and I'm gonna jump on a boat the next day and uh, do one of those, right? Because it's, been, it's been, uh, been the year. Make some decisions. Don't sit there and just blindly go unconsciously through the rest of the year, which is what most of you do. That was a big topic we had in, in, out in Los Angeles. Most human beings, in fact, the vast majority of us, operate in an unconscious state. You just run the same patterns you run all over again, and you wonder why nothing's different. So keep that some thought, okay? Hey, happy Monday. Be well. See you again soon.